right, this is my dehydrator. It has been really, really busy. It's a, N a Nesco FD50. It's an older one made in the early 2000s. And so this is what it originally came with is these guys. And then these ones were supposed to be the right size, but as you can tell, clearly not. It's getting harder and harder to find the parts and pieces for this one. I'm just trying to make do. Anyway, it's been really busy for me. Um, we just did a bunch of dehydrated goodies. This is pumpkin cake. And this is mini muffins and then some pumpkin cake. And let's see. More pumpkin cake. Let's see, what was that? Oh, a little bit of pumpkin cake in there. Anyway, and then down here, there's actually tomatoes and celery in the lower racks. But I'm going to have John come in here and taste test either the pumpkin cake bread or the mini muffins, whichever he decides to choose for you guys. But it's, you know, besides dehydrating fruits and vegetables, you can do a lot of other things. And these are great. So they're, they are hard like a cracker I guess um, they are hard but I can package them in baggies so some of these I will put in a regular bag and the kids can get into them and then the rest I'm actually going to vacuum seal into vacuum bags and put away for longer term storage and they'll be good for about two years um, if the bags stay cool, dry, nothing gross. So anyway, I'm going to have John come in here and show you guys that it's not terrible. It's really not too bad. Kids, kids will eat it. Husbands will eat it. <laughs> so these are going to be handy for camping and hiking and fishing and hunting. You know, just a quick take with you type item. All right. John is here to do some taste testing live for you guys. Well, live when you see it. <laughs> He's going to try the pumpkin bread. Does it smell like pumpkin bread? Yeah. So even though it's hard, is it bad or does it taste good? How does it taste? Tastes good. Does it taste really good? Mm -hmm. Do you like it now? Do you like that flavor better now or when it was fresh? Mm, both. Both, yeah. Okay, so it's not bad then. All right, so if we went camping or hunting or fishing or hiking, would this be okay to maybe put in the pack and take with us? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, it's a win, everybody. Here we go. Pumpkin cake. It's dehydrated, and then this one is vacuum packed for future use. It's ready to get put away. Oh my gosh, so my counter's getting kind of crazy. I just vacuum packed the pumpkin bread and the little mini muffins and then I've been bagging different uh this was well it's mixed fruit like pears and bananas and this oh my gosh tangerines those are so good I know they look terrible right they look <laughs> really gross but those are so ridiculously good dehydrated and then this is a bag of just various fruit leather and then this was Roma's I just did whoop and celery and Roma's down there. So I'm going to get all these bagged into their individual bags. And yes, some of them I don't vacuum pack. Like the fruit leather, we just go through it too quickly to vacuum pack it. It would be ridiculous to do that. And then the fruit, sometimes I vacuum pack it and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how long I'm going to keep it around. These guys are also not getting packed. They're getting put in a baggie because there's a good chance that I'll just take these out and just reuse them or I will powder them and use them with a whatever, but powdered. So, and same with the celery. It's just going to go in a regular bag and I'm probably going to powder the celery because that makes an insanely good seasoning. Mm -hmm. 